Hello, Kathy and John. Good morning from Woodsong. A beautiful spring day, the kind of day that uh, the poets write about. And on days like this, we are all poets. Kathy, you wanted to hear the, the Woodsong notes, so I will read them to you. Uh, there are two here. One from uh, the winter note called The Grandest Gift of All, and the other one, untitled, but it is the spring issue. Please understand that uh, the written English and the spoken English are different. As I sit here, I will use these papers as a guide to go by, but I will not read them just exactly as they're written. But we'll make it better, I hope, by adding those things that just come intuitively as I go along. The grandest gift of all. Words <clears throat> words in the world are waiting to be strung in a new order, a new rhythm, a new sequence that has never been written exactly this way before. In the world, something soft and wonderful sings in the heart of us. Something new and inwardly different is happening in the world. Now, read the words that follow and listen to them softly. Something marvelous will happen. And why not? <laughs> it really will, so why not? This is the season of it. Everyone wants to know about it, but only it can tell of it. It is the authority. Everyone wants it and has been searching for it, but we all overshoot the mark and miss it until we are ready to appreciate it. At first, we didn't know it when we had it, <laughs> and we still have it and don't know it. Because to the undisciplined intellect, that limiting and arrogant half of us, it doesn't seem big enough or good enough. It doesn't fulfill the lofty intellect's expectation. Oh, but it is it anyway. Something happens, and it walks onto the tangible stage, right into our affairs. It is wonderful. It has been called many things, but names only disguise it. What is this something that happens? Well, we've all had intimations of it. We were born with it. We've everyone experienced it somewhere along the line. We may not have recognized it when it happened, but in retrospect, we remember the exhilaration and the softness. We remember it. It shaped our lives when we were conscious of it, whether we were conscious of it or not. It came when we were children, perhaps reading or listening to stories. We have been searching for it again ever since. It, is, it happened at our mother's side as she worked in the garden. And we still find comfort in gardens. It happened in the mountains. And the mountains forever hold us in their arms. It happened while we frolicked with playful animals and we love animals to this day. This marvelous experience of it early in our lives has us searching for it again the rest of our days. Kathy, you told me how it was when it happened to you as a young lady. Well, now, when it happened, the child of us was alive and well. The child within us was lively, nimble, and alert, clapping hands and laughing. Well, now, here we are, reaching out for that same one it again. We've been reaching out to that same one it throughout our lives. 
That's what has had us picking up this book or that one or going to this lecture or that. It has us searching for that it again. Well, what is it? Listen, listen. It is a tiny moment of sweet inner lightness and delight. It is a moment of relief from the world's heaviness. It is an instant of recognition and weightless surveillance of the scene. It is a flawless moment that lets us say, Hey, <laughs> this is a fine minute. I feel all right. I feel good again. I feel joy. Everything is all right. That's it. That goodness and lightness is it. That's what it is. Unfortunately, it's no big event to the intellect of us, yet its recognition and acknowledgement is the most brimming inner understanding anyone will ever acquire, and the heart of no us knows this is so. It is the grandest thing one can imagine because in the midst of it, suddenly, everything is all right including the universe and everything in it, including our own most personal experiences and our interface with everyone. That's all right, too, and we know it. The marvel of marvels begins as a tiny little mustard seed of sweet, innocent peace inside us. The conscious perception of this is the Big Bang of the future awaiting the world. When we recognize it and acknowledge it, as we're doing this very minute, it grows and grows. After it has been recognized and acknowledged, as we're doing this very minute, it comes back again, larger and more apparent. It returns again and again at other unexpected moments, still larger until it grows into the tree of paradise wherein the angels play. Mm -hmm.